Oh, hello and welcome to the Sorcery Masterclass. Today we're going to be talking about everything related to the sorcery and the tips and tricks that 99% of the players don't know or don't utilize to the fullest potential. I have my boy Golem with me, but uh, we're not going to be talking about him now. We're going to talk about Golems in one of the next episodes. But uh, Golem, did you have something to say? Uh, please subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, please sucker para yeah, my boy golem crazy okay let's get this started the first step we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to control your trolls and this is crazy 99 percent of players who play conan still don't know how to properly control your trolls so let's get into it right so i'm gonna call my trolls here outside tell them to come out yeah so here they are so the first thing we're gonna do is tell them to stop all right that's the that's, once you tell them to stop your troll is gonna be here your troll is gonna be here waiting they will not move they will not do nothing if somebody come by now and start attacking your trolls your trolls will not defend they will just stay still when you tell your trolls to stop that cancels everything they will just stand on that spot as long as you don't call them back like they will be here forever right and if, if you go if you go to your followers and you mark them if you mark them you can find them on a map and you can see that they are on a map and they're gonna be here forever right just so you guys know this is pvp server that i recently joined one of the pvp servers that i recently joined i play on multiple pvp and exclusively on a pvp server but this is the one that i joined recently so uh this what should tell them to stop they will be there right so if you're running away and you do whatever you decided to do they will not follow you they will just be there standing still right that's what the stop command is. it's pretty obvious right like everybody's like yeah we know what the stop command is. so when you when she, once you decide to call your trolls and this is the mistake that 99 percent of the players do the basic mistake it's silly but everybody like it's amazing how many people don't know about this so when they call the trolls right they go either with a return or move this is how they call so when you tell your trolls to return what they're gonna do is they're gonna look for the best path and they're gonna run to you as you guys can see they're gonna run to you so with that being said that means that they can get stuck they can get attacked they can get attacked by npcs because they're gonna be running to you right which is kind of which is kind of not really a good idea but if you tell your trolls to stop right now i'm gonna show you the difference if you tell you and this is this is master sorcery class when you're a master sorcerer this is what you do you don't use return you don't use move i'm gonna show you right now so what you want to do when you call your trolls instead of stop command instead of return or move you're gonna tell them stop again so you're gonna tell them stop again and watch now like they don't run right like they're not running they're not running right the reason why they're not running is because they actually teleported see them they teleported and that is huge this is the main thing when it comes to a sorcery and being a authority build and controlling your trolls you don't ever want to tell your trolls to return or tell your trolls to move you just want to use the stop command as needed as you guys was able to see if you tell them to stop twice they will actually teleport instead if you tell them to return they will run to you like they will find the path and they will run to you which is most of the time pretty much all of the time bad decision so what when you move your trolls you want to make sure you use control stop both times make sure to like the video all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure so that's the tip number one right in this master class that's the tip number one so we're gonna put these guys back we're gonna put these guys back and we're gonna tell them to stop the reason why we're gonna do that because we're gonna use these trolls only in emergency with the build that i have and the build that i showed you with this build you actually used because your mobility and uh, you're gonna be on a horse at all time and use your bow you really and this is something that you can kind of do it on your own and see which works for you but most of the time i don't even use trolls 
I just do everything by myself on a horse and I use them to split damage and use them just in a case of emergency. So they're going to be here for the most part, just chill here. So the next thing that I want to show you again and point out is the is this abyssal armor, right? The abyssal armor, it's insane how good this abyssal armor is. And the, and the thing about abyssal armor is that it's very cheap to maintain. Once you get it, it's very cheap. It takes, the armor takes three of the heavy padding, right? Three of the heavy padding. That's what it takes. And this, this heavy padding is easy to make. It takes three pieces of thick leather. Uh, uh, actually, it takes like 40 pieces of thick leather, which is easy. You can have thick leather cooking all the time. So it's really easy. And you can have this, a lot of people say it expires uh, because it has a timer, right? Like the timer, you can kind of see that the time runs out. But it's very easy to maintain it because you can kill anything, right? Whatever you kill, your timer will go up. Let's see. I think there's a regular. Yeah. So we're going to kill this guy here. And you can see the timer. You can see the timer on this thing is going up a little bit. So all you got to do is just keep killing. You can just keep killing NPCs over and over again and get your timer up, which is very easy to do, right? It's easy to get to find the NPCs. You, you, know, you can find them anywhere. And when you have a bow, when you have a bow, this thing is even it's even easier, right? Like it, with, look at the damage. Look at the damage with this. Like you can literally just kill anything with this. And and the good thing, and the good thing about the bow, especially especially abyssal bow, is that it doesn't take any arrows. Like you have unlimited arrows. You don't need to craft arrows. Like you don't need to worry about nothing. Literally, you have unlimited arrows. Sometimes in bag bugs are right. Someone's coming. But you got unlimited arrows. It's crazy. You got unlimited. You can just you can just spam it, and you can see that the timer goes up. The timer goes up on the armor. The timer goes up on your weapon. Right? Easy, easy. Like this is too easy. Too easy. Too easy. You can just you can just spam this. Look. You can just spam this. Anywhere you go, you just keep killing it. Once you get it up, you can just maintain it. You can just maintain it. It's too easy. Too easy. Like you can farm anything. You can farm any camp. You can farm whatever you want to farm with this. It's just too easy. And once again, you don't use nothing. And if you die, Nobody can loot your armor or your weapon. You can you just go and you craft another one, and it's it's cheap, right? And the reason I, I have and I use these as with the time, once you be, become a little bit better sorcerer, you will understand why it's very important to have these camps build. And this is one of the builds. I'm gonna show you the different types of the builds as we go. This is one version of the build, and this is mainly when you farm. So when you are focused on farming. Uh, this is what you want to do. This is what you want to have. And the main thing is, of course, uh, of course, to have this corrupted as much as you want. And another thing why you need this is because of the bat. You know, the bat that you can fly with. Bat, the reason why you want to have this corrupted almost to the maximum it be is because of the bat. And if you stick with me in this video, at a certain point, I will show you why exactly that matters when it comes to a um, bat demon, right? So the next thing that I want to kind of point out, and this is the tip number three, is of course weapon. The the damage that you do, and you, you was able to see the damage that you do with the bow is insane, combining with the armor, right? Another thing that is very important or kind of fun, most of the time, if you have this moved away, you don't know how much time. When you look at it, you get a click on your armor every time to see how much time you have, about 21 minutes, right? And if you're running around, you don't really know how much time you got left on your armor. It's kind of hard to like keep checking on it, right? What you can do and what you should do, you just put a you just put a bow, right? So the bow has a timer, and you can see it's pretty much the same timer as armor, right? It's a similar. So you have better overview of how much time you have left on your armor because every time you kill something, it adds the same amount of the time to your bow 
annual armor. So every time you kill something, it doesn't matter what it is, it adds same amount of the time, and you guys are gonna be able to see it as we go. It adds same amount of the time to your armor and your bow. So you can kind of see it all the time, like I can see now that I have about 21 minutes left on my armor and my bow, so I can keep my eye on it and make sure that I keep killing stuff so it doesn't expire on me, right? So that's the tip number two. So now the tip number three, and probably the most important tip, is your of course it's your horse and i'm talking about abyssal horse and then sting is beast abyssal horse is a beast and it's crazy to me that 99 percent of the players who play conan all of the time don't know this about abyssal horse when it comes to the abyssal horse right first of all it's cheap to maintain it like it's cheap to get it abyssal horse is really cheap it takes couple of bones couple piece of bone of uh, demon blood and a sacrificial blood and sacrificial blood it's just too easy to farm these so it's really cheap to to get the the abyssal horse it's really cheap to maintain it the main reason why 99 percent of the players are complaining and doesn't use abyssal horse is because they complain about the timer they saying that it's too short that abyssal horse expired too soon and it's useless little do they know that abyssal horse works same way that armor work and the same way that your weapon work same exact way whenever you kill something whenever you kill something it doesn't matter what it is in a map whenever you kill something it adds time to your armor it adds time to your weapon and it adds time to your horse every time you kill something it adds time to your horse so you can have abyssal horse for as long as you want you can have abyssal horse whole day and that's what i do only horse i don't have any other horses i don't have any other i just started on this server right and this is pvp server i have no other horses the only horse that i use and only horse that i need is abyssal horse because every time i kill something it adds time to the horse so if i kill a deer it adds time to a horse if i kill the rock nose it adds time to a horse and once again in this sorcery master class our build and the way that we are geared up this is too op when it comes to pve in a pve situation there's nothing in this whole game that can kill you there's nothing in this whole game that will give you any problem you can shred everything in this whole game when it comes to pve when it comes to the pvp same the reason why i say the same is because in this particular situation you are archer if you are archer that means that you're glass cannon that means that you have a little bit of uh, you're corrupted you have only 160 one, 160 health what does that mean that means that you need to keep the distance you don't want to fight with nobody chest to chest you're not coming this close if you come in this close to fight some something on somebody the chances are you're gonna die and the chances are you deserve to die you're gonna fight from the distance like you are archer and that's where this horse comes into place why is this horse so important because 99 percent of the time when you're fighting everything pretty much everything npcs pve and a pvp you want to make sure you are on the back of your horse you want to be mounted to your horse why because you can't run out of the stamina you don't need to dodge you don't need to manage your stamina when it comes to running and moving the only time you're using stamina is when you're using your bow so it's pretty easy for you to manage your stamina because you're gonna be on the horse and with the horse it's easy to maneuver the horse and it's easy to keep the distance because in a pvp situation if somebody comes close to you chances are you're gonna die like there's a great chance you're gonna die if they come close to you and if they come close to you means that everything that we're talking about in this sorcery master class you failed and you gotta do better okay so we got that out of the way 
So now we're going to get ourselves a horse. We're going to make sure we craft one horse. And remember, it adds the time to the horse. Remember that. So here we go. We got ourselves this amazing horse. This is the best horse in the game. The number one horse in the whole game. And I don't use any other horse other than this horse. And I will never use any other horse. I mean, when I'm running as a as a sorcerer, I'm not going to use any other horse other than a Bissell horse. You guys can see that he starts with 1,580 1580 HP and all the perks that he gains are the same perks to every horse like you will never get a Bissell horse that have different perks it's always same and it levels up so he can go up to six seven eight thousand in HP and his timer adds up so as long as you are killing stuff as long as you're killing whatever you kill his time will go up so you go on the back of this horse and you keep killing things whatever you kill is going to add the time to the horse so you can be and you guys are going to see that in this video then i'm going to use the same horse for the rest of this video and he will not disappear here i will use the same exact horse this whole time and that's about it so that's the tip number two or three or whatever it is you guys make sure you guys keep the track of how many tips i'm giving you in this video it's crazy so yeah welcome to sorcery master class and uh things that we go in this video are usually things that nobody talk about because everybody else is trash <laughs> yeah just kidding so yeah the, the 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 things and the stuff that i'm talking about the conan and in this game is because you can play this game in so many ways this game is just too much fun and when i see people complain about a game it just like uh, it doesn't make sense to me so now it's not a pvp time right so we're gonna close these doors the reason why we're closing these doors because we're gonna leave our trolls here we're gonna you guys can see that horse leveled up we're gonna leave our trolls here and you guys can see and we're gonna use them only in emergency case right so so that's it uh tip number two three four whatever it is we're gonna close the doors because we're not gonna use trolls for now we're just gonna use a bow and a and a horse we're not gonna use the trolls we're gonna use the trolls only in the case of an emergency right so that's the tip number three number four whatever number it is that's the tip about the horse once again this is the best horse in the game especially when you run as a sorcerer this is must have horse easy to easy to maintain easy to get easy to you don't need to feed him he heals by himself he don't need nothing all you have to do is keep killing stuff all right so now we're gonna keep moving right and make sure what we need to make sure is that as long as we keep moving and we keep killing stuff we will add the timer to our armor we're gonna add timer to our weapon and we're gonna add timer to our horse and yeah you can kill anything uh easier enemy less time harder enemy more time added there's a deer and you guys can see the timer on a bow is 42 minutes similar to uh, similar to a hammer and a similar to everything is pretty much close one thing is once you reach one hour is the maximum amount of time you can add to these once you hit one hour all of these all of these things will have the same timer right like right now it's kind of there's like a couple minutes different but because uh when i when i was spawning it it was a difference in a couple minutes but once you reach one hour the timer gonna be same in each one of these so all you gotta do is just kill random stuff you can stop with the deer and of course it's a one one shot and you guys can see that the small animals and the small mp weak npcs will add a little bit of a time to it it's not much but it adds up right you're just gonna keep adding up and you guys can see how easy this is you guys can see how you guys can see how much power you got you guys can see how much damage you have you get when you run it with this build and when it comes to a pve this is the thing when it comes to pve 
you are unstoppable with this build and this setup you can pretty much beat anything in a pve situation so here's here's this deer and you guys can see like how easy how easy like he can't even catch you when you're on the back of your horse you can just literally just go in a circle and he can never catch you and you're just gonna poke him like it's this is this is this is too easy this thing is and you guys can see the timer like this this kill will add pretty good amount of time to your timer like this will add pretty good amount of time to your timer and it's all you gotta do is just go in a circle and you don't you don't you don't waste nothing you don't even waste your arrows because there's no arrow you don't craft arrows for the abyssal ball you are not crafting arrows you have unlimited arrows there look it adds time the only thing that another thing this is another tip that i want to give you you guys can see that when it comes to the hammer when it comes to a mule it doesn't add time to a mule why it doesn't add a time to a mule because you need to make at least one kill with it like you just gotta use it once so we're gonna hop off the horse we're gonna switch to a mule and look at this i have no damage this is another tip i have no damage i have no points invested in my strength right and we have no we have no buffs only thing we have is a groove we have no buffs but you guys are gonna see that this, when, especially when it comes to PVE situation, especially when it comes to PVE situation, this mule is uh, is crazy. And look, the damage splits. Like she, I let I let her do the whole combo. The, the damage splits between you and look. Look at the damage that you're gonna do with this with this mule without any. That was the light and this was the heavy right so now you guys can see that it started adding time it added time to this hammer right so now even when i kill with a when i get a kill with a bow it's gonna add the time to the hammer right like now you, every kill that you every kill that you make from now on it's gonna add the time to the hammer because you just need to kind of activate you just need to get one kill to activate this thing so now every other kill will add a time to the hammer in the same time there it is so now what you can do you can you can fight them you can just climb on your horse Yeah, so you gotta pay attention you don't want your horse to get stuck but you can see now once i get on the back of the horse it's pretty much gg you can just you can just go around and poke them make sure they don't come close to your horse because look they did the damage and you guys can see that my horse will heal by himself like it will literally heal by itself you don't need to feed it you don't need to do nothing and you can just go around just make sure you don't get stuck and you can kill whatever you want to kill in this whole map without any issues And there it is it adds time it adds time to a bow it adds time to your hammer it adds time to everything pretty much you can just heal up you don't even need to heal up you can passively heal slowly but you can kind of see and this is another thing when it comes to a horse right like you don't even have to get off of the horse if you want to loot something you can literally loot things you don't ever have to get off the horse you guys can see you can you don't ever have to get off your horse you can just stay on your horse and loot whole day so 
So it's just gonna add the time. It's just gonna add the time. It's pretty easy to do this. So this is this is the tip that I was about to show you. And the last, there's gonna be two more things that we're gonna do. We're gonna ki kill the world boss without the trolls. And then we're gonna complete, this is extra for you guys that wanna stick around. This is the extra content. So now we're gonna kill the world boss when it comes to PVE so you guys can see how OP this build is without calling on your trolls and then we're gonna go and complete the vault uh, we're gonna call the trolls and complete the vault in like less than four minutes and it's just insane and also when it comes to you guys remember how I told you about farming the 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 farming the sacrificial blood you guys can see i usually have these camps all over the map and i keep the doors open i'm pretty sure it's pretty kind of common sense why would i keep the door open right uh, i keep the doors open in all pvp servers if i play on a pvp service i keep the doors open if i play on a pve server it doesn't really matter because i don't ever play on a pve server but if you play on a pve server it doesn't matter if you close the door, if you open the door, it doesn't really matter. But if I play on a PvP server, and I definitely play on a PvP server, I want to keep my door open. So now we're going to go down and uh, do a couple things so you guys can see the power of this build. And like I say, on the way, you guys can see that I still have the same horse, and this horse will go nowhere. As long as you're killing stuff, as long as you're killing stuff this horse abyssal horse will be with you you can have this horse for the rest of a day and you guys can see that his health is back to the maximum because he leveled up right and it's really easy like all you gotta do is just go in a circle that's it that's it like this big spider no problem it's same you, you just want to make sure that you have enough you just want to make sure that you have enough room to go around, right? It is that easy. It is too easy. So just remember that we're going to use... You, you just want to kill everything, even little deer. The reason why you want to kill everything, you just want... Because you, you see now that the timer, the timer on my, on my bow and the timer on my hammer and the timer on my armor... Now is this pretty much same, you see, it's same. The reason why is it same? Because I reached maximum of one hour. Once you reach the maximum of one hour, everything start counting same. So you can just kill whatever you want on the way. Like you can literally kill everything. Nothing is a problem, nothing is issue once you are a sorcerer, right? So here we are, we, 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 we get inside the storm, but we don't really. Only thing that we worry about and that we need to keep eye on is, is, is players, right? And that's something, but we are on a horse. So even if the player run up on us, it's going to have a hard time to catch up with us. Like they're not going to just ca catch us easy. You just going to make sure that you use your agility, you use your horse and your mobility to stay, keep a distance and possibly run away because you don't want to fight. In this in this build, you can fight, but you just don't want to come close to any of the players, all right? So here we are. That's the boss, you guys know that this world boss is pretty tough. It's not easy to kill this boss. And what we're going to do, we're going to kill this boss without the trolls, with this build using bow isn't that crazy that we're gonna kill this big ass boss with just a bow right so that's what we're gonna do now
So remember, with the build that we have, the mobility is what's the key. So what you want to do, any boss, you can go to pools, you can farm the world bosses, you can farm the storm, you can farm whatever you want to farm, it don't really matter. All you gotta do is just make sure that you're on the back of your horse and make sure that they don't come close to you, right? Like you just wanna make sure you keep the distance. That's the key. You don't wanna get stuck. So there it is guys, as you guys can see, we killed the toughest boss in a whole game with a bow without even getting hit once and doesn't, we didn't spend nothing, we didn't spend nothing because we have unlimited, unlimited arrows and another thing, this added so much time, you guys can see that the time is maxed out on everything. So. It is so easy to farm these. Now you can just go and farm bosses, farm all of this stuff. It is too easy. Just too easy, right? All right, so I picked this area on a purpose because this area is it's a demon spider area. It's a, so many resources here when it comes to silver, gold, brimstone. Everything is in a one spot but also there's a boss and a, and a vault next to each other so it's easy for me to show you guys this so now as soon as we teleport inside the vault our remember that our trolls will be right next to us so our trolls will show up right next behind us and here we are you see they're here we're gonna tell them return and now we're gonna do remember the tip number one how to control your trolls so we're gonna implement that we're gonna implement that rule, that tip that I showed you at the beginning of the map uh, of the class here. What we're gonna do again, we're gonna tell our trolls to stop. We're gonna actually tell them return one time just to restart, make sure we're doing it right. We're gonna tell them to stop and we're gonna leave them here at the be beginning of this vault. And I made a video on how to do how to complete vaults in a in uh, four minutes or less, you guys can check that video and we're gonna use the same principle here. So we're gonna tell our trolls to stop, we're gonna take our stick and we're gonna make ourselves, remember we are here just to farm bosses, to farm sigils and recipes. So we don't really care about these sure. little NPCs on the way. No. <laughs> So what we're gonna make sure we're gonna make ourselves invisible. The reason why we're making ourselves invisible because we're gonna make we wanna make this thing fast. We just wanna make this fast because you can farm all of the dungeons. This work same way in all of the vaults, in all of the dungeons, you can do it the same exact way. The, this way. And this is the fastest way if you wanna farm the dungeons and you wanna farm the the vaults you do it the same exact way and this is another thing this is the tip number six or whatever it is you guys can loot these boxes and stay invisible you see how invisible if you open this box your invisibility will go away but you're not gonna open it you're gonna go to the to the inventory real quick and you will just pick with the q or whatever button it is on a playstation and an xbox and you're just gonna pick what you need you see i picked it up and i'm still invisible so you can loot these chests without losing your invisibility so this this way is very easy way to farm all of the vaults all of the uh, dungeons this is best fastest and easiest way and i have the full video made uh, just to these and you can check it in one of my videos
So you can kind of see it's crazy. It's it's too easy. This is remember guys, this is sorcery masterclass. How to master sorcery and sorcery it's amazing. First of all, this thing is pretty OP when it comes to all of this. It's pretty OP. It's easy and cheap to maintain. Like you don't need much. You don't need to farm a lot to get this weapon, to get this armor. It, it takes a little bit of a farm. And the best thing about it, you get everything without having to farm or worrying that somebody's going to steal it from you. So you guys can see, this is the boss. You guys can see our trolls are not behind us. We're going to do what we learn in a tip number one. We're not going to tell them to return. We're going to tell them to stop again, right? Like we're going to say stop again. Once we turn, our trolls are here. You guys can see they're going to teleport. They're going to be right behind you. So they don't need to fight all of those, all of those NPCs. It's going to save you time and it's going to be way quicker. So now you're just going to tell them to attack and you're... And, with this build, that we, why are we building like this? Look at this. Look how they shred it. Like they're gonna shred this. Like your imp your trolls gonna shred this. Like it's it's like it's funny. Like it, it's a joke. Like it's you're gonna see the same thing with the boss. So you can literally be just invisible and tell them to do all of these things without worrying about nothing. Remember, guys, this is sorcery masterclass. Your, that's the reason why we got this. That's the reason why we got this because they are just too OP. Now look at the boss. They're gonna shred them. You can help them if you want to, and we're gonna help them a little bit. We're gonna get involved. So another thing. Oh, this is another thing that you need to pay attention. The only time you get, the only time you get your credit to abyssal armor and abyssal if you actually kill. So we're gonna give them here the frenzy, right? Like we're gonna give them the frenzy now, so they get a little bit of a buff. But you gotta make sure that you get the kill. You don't want the trolls to kill this boss. If the troll kill the boss, you will not get the time. You will not get the time on your armor. You will not get a kill. So even your horse you will not get the time. So you wanna make sure they do all of the damage, right? You wanna make sure they do all of the damage, and now you're gonna tell them to stop, right? Now you're gonna finish this guy off. And your, your trolls are so powerful that, look, they can just take all of the damage. So you want to make sure you take that. And, and even if you didn't have the, like, if you didn't have, if you didn't bring the trolls with you, like, this boss can do nothing. Like, the, 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 the setup that you have, like, this build that you have, like, you can shred this boss by yourself. You guys can see. And look, now everything is maxed out. You see? It's one hour for the bow, one hour for your hammer, one hour for your armor, and we still have the horse. You remember? This is the first horse we got. He's still with us. The reason why he's still with us is because we kill it. Now you can tell your trolls to come back, right? Because you told them to stop. Now you're going to come back, and now they're going to be chilling. So now you can farm, and you guys can see another reason why we got this build. So now we can farm all of this stuff. And without worrying to like be over encumbered, right? The reason why you don't want to get over encumbered is so you can ride your horse because your horse is the key. You want to make sure you're not over encumbered pretty much at all time. And that's the easy way to farm everything. Bosses, easy way to farm. Vaults, easy way to farm everything when it comes to you can grab. I already have these, but make sure you grab the recipes. And you guys saw that it took less than five minutes. Even with me talking, it looked took less than five minutes right you can get the sigils and there's another reason why we are here i want to show you this is very important and make sure to have this is if there's one sigil that you want as a as a sorcerer you don't really care about the sigils uh it's not like you don't care but uh uh if you don't if you dine a lot and you don't want to worry about it you don't need to have the sigils if there's one sigil that you really want is this sigil and the reason why you want this sigil is because allowing to run further without the rest that means that you can run more we have you see the stamina we have a gloves we don't have any buffs remember you guys can use the buffs i didn't use the buff for the video purposes i didn't use any buff i didn't use any food i didn't use any elixirs i didn't use any buff because I didn't, like I said, I didn't use any buff, I didn't use any elixir, I didn't use anything because 
I want to make sure that everything that I'm using and showing you guys is pure uh, abyssal so you guys can see and also if you use these gloves it gives you carrying capacity right if you use the gloves you can carry even more but we're not going to use the gloves the only gloves we're going to use ever and forever is these gloves it's gloves of jill everything else is abyssal the only thing we're gonna uh, use is gloves of jill everything else when it comes to the weapon when it comes to the when it comes to when it comes to weapon when it comes to armor it's all going to be abyssal right and this is going to conclude uh, we are almost done with the video now we're going to exit and i'm going to show you something at the end you guys can see your troll is going to follow you and now when it comes to the farming right you're going to do the farming as the last thing before you leave right before you hit and you go back to your you're gonna do the farming and look at the farm look how much farm i'm just gonna kind of show you look at the farming and you can tell when you're farming if you tell your trolls they will pretty much take care of everything if you are down on the ground and you're gonna be careful with this build that we have going on right now also you can just give your trolls every once in a while you can just give them buff you can, you can just give them buff, make sure they, they get a frenzy. They don't really need it, especially in a PvE situation. They don't really need it, but you can give them that. But what I want to show you now is once you are done farming, right? Because the build that we have, and this area has it all. This area have a silver, this area have a brimstone, this area have a stone, this area have a black ice, this area have a pretty much everything every resource that you need including coal right so now we th this is the last tip that i'm going to give you and tip number five now that we are encumbered we are done with the farming you can you see one of my trolls have this uh have the vault you can place the vault if you're farming in this area you can place the vault and the good thing with the vault is you can pick it up right so that's the good thing with the vault that you can pick it up so you can place it down you can farm as much as you want without worrying to be assassinated by there's somebody else uh, base there we don't know what it is but another thing once you are farmed and you're ready to go you can't use your horse because you are over encumbered right but you're not going to use the horse at the end of your farm when you when it's time for you to go home you're not going home with a horse you you're going home Shulk. with a bat because you're carrying all of the loot you don't want to get killed right you don't want to have all of the loot that you just all of the farm that you farm and get killed by a random player what you're gonna do is you want to take your bat and remember guys when i told you authority why authority is very important when it comes to the bat because you guys can see that my bat have 9070 i mean 970 stamina that means you can fly like crazy right you can fly like crazy and that's why it's very important that you have in this situation and when you build farm like this it's very important for you to have the authority all the way to the max and corrupted all the way to the max other than last tick because you want bats to have this so you can fly everywhere and you guys can see this this is the last tip that i'm gonna give you guys once you come here your 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 trolls will spawn this is what you're gonna do this is the last tip that i'm gonna give you guys right this is the way that you build your teleports right you guys can see this is my teleport the doors are open again remember this is pvp everything that i talk is a pvp related and a pvp focused everything that i say works in a pve but you want to have your teleport once you're done with farming and you're ready to go home you come back to the teleport i'm not gonna teleport home i'm just gonna show you this and you're just gonna teleport wherever wherever your um the cupus we're gonna make sure we know where we're going so you're just gonna teleport you're just gonna teleport home right boom and you guys can see when it comes to the camp this is the last tip and pretty much the ending of the video the doors here are closed i closed it because it's a pve i mean it's not a pvp time yet but i will open it and i will keep it open now because the pvp time is not far away the sable auto close and you guys can see 
the way oh okay 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 that's something that we're gonna talk about in the next video and you guys can see that we are here oh there's your troll getting attacked by your troll and you're getting attacked by uh, NPCs but it don't really matter because your troll is just too strong anyway and you can kind of help them if you want we have double jump in the same time no problem right So that's it pretty much when it comes, you guys can see that your trolls, you, when it comes to PvE, PvP, whatever it comes to, it don't really matter. Uh, nobody really, that's your troll doing the work. Like your troll can literally, like who gonna mess with your troll? Nobody. So thank you guys for uh, staying with me throughout this class. It was a little bit lengthy, but it's a lot of tips and information that I'm pretty sure you guys gonna be able to utilize and use. And uh, when it comes, like I said, when it comes to when it comes to Conan, Conan is just amazing game. There's so many things that you can do. And when I hear and I see people complain all of the time, I know about the bugs. I know about the glitches. I know things. The main issue probably is the people with the hacks. Other than that, this game is just too awesome. And there's so many things to do and so many fun things to do. So for this video that will be it i'm gonna have more videos coming soon mastering the sorcery and everything else we're gonna focus on a pvp mainly everybody else that play on a pve can use all of this information because everything that i say is pvp focused but will work in any pve or pvec private server everywhere else so thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next one